Hey guys, this is Bento Aguiar from the Comic Book Score. This weekend, I went down to the Durham Region Comic Book Show located in Oshawa. It was $5 to get in. Um, it wasn't that busy, but I picked up a nice stack. Um, the most I spent here was probably um, $75 on one book that I'll show you. Um, it was $5 to get in, and they also gave you a voucher uh, of you know worth two dollars and you can pick a, a two dollar book and for free um, so that two dollar book that I picked which I got for free was Daredevil number 11 first appearance of Muse I think when I pulled this book out out of the two dollar bin uh, the vendor was actually uh, surprised that the book was there but there you go guys you can find some pretty good treasures even for two dollars in the two dollar bins we also have Morbius number 19, which I paid 50 cents for. Number 22, also 50 cents. 23, 50 cents. Lady Rawhide. This is an awesome cover by Adam Hughes. Um, I believe I paid $3 for this one. These ones were all $1. Uh, Haunt number one, nice cover by Todd McFarlane. We got number two, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. Those were all in the one dollar bin, guys. I thought this cover was pretty cool. Supergirl number 51. This was also a dollar. And we have Halloween Night Dance by DDP Comics, uh, which is Devil's Due. Um, I believe this is probably a low print, um, but again, this was $1. And we also got number two. We also have Elf number four. We got this one for a dollar. And I thought this was pretty cool. We have Francis, the brother of the universe. Again, this was a buck. We also have the first appearance of Yusagi Jojimbo in color. Uh, and this was also in the dollar bin. This is Doomsday um, number three, artwork, interior artwork by John Byrne. We have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We got Body Count number one by Image Comics. And we also have number three. Here's another key issue. This is the Astonish Astonishing Ant Man number six. Uh, this was also in the dollar bin. And we also have number 12, another key issue. And I picked up two copies of that for a dollar. We also have Ghost Rider 2099, awesome foil cover. This was also $1. Ghost Rider and Cable number one. We have um, Ghost Rider 88, low print. These uh, later issues are uh, have a nice price tag to them. They're pretty expensive. Uh, this is probably maybe a 20 to $30 book. Um, just because it's a later issue and it's low print. Again, this was in the dollar bin. We have Ghost Rider number 15. This is a glow in the dark cover, which is also a second printing. This one here, I believe I might've paid $2 for this one. This is Gamera number one of four by Dark Horse Comics. I thought it was such a cool cover. I might have a copy of this already, but uh, most of you already know there's an animated series coming out on Netflix on Gamera. We also have Spawn Dark Ages. I believe I paid about $2 for each one of these. These later issues um, are harder to find and are becoming or are low prints. Um, so we have Spawn the Dark Ages 23. We have 24. We have 25. We have 26, and we have 27. We also have The Curse of Spawn, number nine. Again, this is another book I picked up for $2. And we 
we have Curse of Spawn number two. This one here is also a minor key. Um, Marvel Team Up 121. This book actually got up in price when the She-Hulk, um, I guess, introduced uh, Froggy. Um, so, or Leapfrog. Uh, and this is a new stand version. So I got this for three bucks. We also have this one here, which I got for $2. Um, Sensational She-Hulk number 57, a minor key. And we also have Green Lantern 51, another key issue. Again, this was in the $2 bin. I was surprised this was even there. And we have a classic cover with Hal Jordan with all the lantern rings in his hands. I do have a newsstand version of this, but again, this was $2. We also have Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe 135. This one is still in the bag. As you can see, there's a bag for this one here. And I believe it comes with a, a card inside the bag. Um, these later issues are low prints. Uh, I believe I probably paid about, I think it was about $4 for these. So I got 135. We got 136. 137. 138. Now we have Blade, this is a one shot, number one. Um, just thought it was a cool cover. Um, I paid um, $10 for this one, but I'll tell you why I got this one free. Because I did buy this book and the next book, plus a nice Foo magazine um, for a total of um, total of $60. Okay. So turns out I got this one for free yeah, by making a deal. Um, so this one here, yeah, if you check it up on eBay, I'm surprised this book's going for about 30 bucks. And, uh, again, um, it had a sticker price of $10 and, um, uh, turns out, um, I made a deal and got this one for free. We have vision and the scarlet witch. This one was also listed at $10. And we got The Incredible Hulk 340. Uh, this book is in great shape. Um, great shape, guys. It had a sticker of $80 on it. I was able to get it for $75, which I think is an amazing deal for this book. Um, this is probably like maybe a 9.2. Uh, I'm guessing around there, maybe a 9.4, but I'm pretty happy with that. Then we have uh, the first appearance of Freddy Krueger in a comic book. Um, this is the Nightmare on Elm Street magazine, Marvel magazine, with Freddy Krueger. That was a pretty cool cover. I got this one for $15. He did have a $20 price tag ticket on it, but I got it for $15. And here's the one that um, I made a deal with, um, plus those other two books I told you that were $10. This book this magazine actually is in really high grade. Uh, I don't see any flaws with it. I might even get the CG seed. Um, this is Foom magazine number four with an awesome cover of Dr. Doom. Um, he wanted $60 for this. I offered him 50 uh, plus the two other books that I got there. Um, so that was $70 for three books. Um, so yeah, uh, I thought, you know, 50 bucks for this book is a really good deal. Um, believe it or not, I saw a 9.8 on, um, uh, eBay go for just over a thousand dollars, which is crazy. Um, but you're seeing, uh, I'm seeing, uh, 7.5s, 8.5s, um, going for over, uh, 500 bucks on this. So I think I did very well in this book. I love the cover. Uh, you know, I almost feel like framing this. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful book. Um, so this is what I got at the show, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe.